We're headed toward flood stage. Some people think it's the perfect time to head right out into it. Good evening, everybody. The Ohio River is expected to hit 52 foot flood stage tomorrow afternoon and then crest at 53 feet 6 inches on Sunday. And that doesn't represent a serious flood in the area, of course, but the river is obviously rising quickly and can be quite dangerous. But as Local 12's Rich Jaffe found, a handful of hardy souls also think it can be fun right now. Rich joins us live from the Richmond with a story you'll see only here on Local 12. Rich? Rob, we knew a couple of days ago that this river, river was coming up, but it wasn't anything impressive at that point, as you're about to see. But it is right now literally coming up as I am standing here. But even that is not enough to keep a couple of guys from having fun. At the Meldal Dam, the rising river really isn't much cause for concern. But a few miles downriver, what's normally a cornfield looks more like a frozen lake thanks to floodwaters. For riverside businesses like Belterra Park, it's mostly an inconvenience since some access will be cut off temporarily. Just two days ago, the rising river wasn't even on the board in New Richmond. Now it's ripping past. But mixed in with the logs and ducks on the river, we found these two guys fishing from kayaks and having a great time. I mean, most people would look at you guys and, and just say you're nuts. <laughs> Man, it's not really about being nuts. It's being, just like we were talking, being prepared and having the right equipment. Which is essential when the water's 35 degrees. Dry suits, waders, there's different approaches you can do, but just definitely keeping enough synthetic clothing on to be warm. We bring, both of us have uh, dry bags full of extra clothing in case someone goes in, fire starters, mm -hmm. PFDs. I mean, with, I don't even get near the water without it. And it's not cold. It's, honestly, it's not cold. We have hand warmers everywhere. I have like 16 hand warmers all over my body. Not even cold. Kurt Smith owns a local cyclery shop, and Rob Orr is a fishing guide for Great Miami Outfitters. For them, it doesn't get much better than this. I'm so addicted. Oh my gosh. The thing about fishing is, is just when you think you've got it figured out, there's some other aspect to it that just blows your mind. You'll, you'll never learn everything about it. And we're blessed with the Ohio River being here. There are some truly monstrous fish around this area. And as proof, take a look at this 52-pound blue catfish they caught right before we arrived. One person gets a big fish on, and they're so big, they'll pull you out. I mean, you cannot fight them with, with the paddle and having the rod in your hand. So, you know, you got to tag team. you got to use teamwork. And moments later, the pair landed this big and somewhat unusual paddlefish. Nice. <laughs> now, full disclosure time, I fish from a kayak a lot in the Gulf of Mexico, where it's warm. Those guys are nuts. That said, <laughs> the river's gonna keep coming up. Hopefully New Richmond will not be particularly at risk as long as it crests where it's supposed to, which according to the gauge here, will put it about this high on me right now. So before it comes up too much higher, I'm gonna get up there to drier land. Rob? Rich, I have to ask you, it sounds dangerous to be out in that water with all that stuff floating around, is it? Well, it sure can be. I mean, if, if you look right over here, there's a bunch of big pieces of styrofoam, and obviously you saw the logs and that sort of thing. It's cold. It is dangerous. It can be dangerous if, as the guy said, you're not prepared. But, you know, they're, they're doing it as safely as possible, and they're having fun. They know what they're doing. So uh, they're cautious, but... Uh, you got to be careful. No two ways around that. No kidding. Rich Jaffe, thanks very much. The good news is uh, the river's going up because we're melting snow in part.